we will look into the sign series program. The main purpose of this program is to compute sin of x using Taylor series approximation method given by sin of x equals x by 1 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial minus x to the power of 7 by 7 factorial plus etc. The computed sin of x value will be compared with the built in library function and both the results will be printed as the output. This program also demonstrates the usage of do while looping constructs. The input what we are giving into the program is degree. The output what we are getting is the value computed from sin of degree. Now let us look into the logic of this program. The logic of the sign series program is as follows. The Taylor series approximation method, the standard formula for sin of x is given by x by 1 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial minus x to the power of 7 by 7 factorial plus so on. Here we need to carefully observe that each and every time takes an alternating plus and minus signs and this entire term which constitutes of a numerator part and a denominator part is togetherly called as a term. Here in the numerator we can observe that there is a rise in power of degree 2 and in the denominator the corresponding factorial will be there. That is for x to the power of 1 the denominator is always 1 factorial, for the x to the power of 3 the denominator is always 3 factorial and so on. Now as we discussed earlier this program deals with do while looping constructs. Let us look into the syntax of the same. Here the do while is a looping constructs which executes a set of statements inside the do block at least once before checking for its condition in the while part. In our program we have the code to look into the same. Here as I discussed here this part is known as the do part and while the condition is checked at the last. How exactly does it works? The first line is term equals new by denominator. As I told you each and every term is a combination of numerator by denominator. Next numerator equals minus numerator into x into x. This minus is due to the alternating sign of plus and minus in our each and every terms with an x and x. 2x's multiplying results in x square which rises to the power in every 2 times. In the denominator part we have deno equals deno star i star i plus 1. This is because we need to increment each and every denominator by the value 2 and correspondingly calculates its factorial. At the last we have i is equal to i plus 2. While what is the last condition here? It checks while fabs of term is greater than 0 0.0001 which means to say that it checks for a maximum of 4 digit decimal accuracy. This is the logic of the sign series program. Now, let us look into the program to calculate sign value of a given angle. The very first line here is hash include stdio.h which is used for preprocessor directive along with standard input output header file. And we also make use of another two important header files namely the conio.h which stands for console input output header file along with 
math.h which is used for mathematical operations. After this, we have a very important preprocessor directive which is used by as symbolic constant. Here, hash define once again a preprocessor directive along with PI 3.142 which defines PI as a symbolic constant with the value 3.142 which remains the same throughout our programming. Next, we have the main function from where our program execution starts. Inside the main function, we have the declaration part. Here, we will declare the variables i and degree as integer data type followed by other variables such as x sum which is equal to 0, term, numerator and denominator which are declared as floating data types. Next, we have clear screen which is used to clear the output screen. Now, we need to enter the value of a degree, hence we have written that inside our printf function. Next, scanf accepts input uh, from the keyboard, hence we have this percentage %d since the value of degree what we give is in integer data type. Next, since we give the value of our degree, uh, we need to convert the given degree to radians to actually calculate the sign of angle. Hence, to convert from degree to radians, we have a formula which is written, written as x equals degree into pi by 180, which converts the given degree into radians. Next, numerator is equal to x, denominator equal to 1. This is used for our very first term in our sign series which stands for x by 1 factorial. Since the first term has already been defined, we will start from the second term, hence i is equal to 2. Next comes our do while looping constructs, that is the here term equals numerator by denominator, numerator equals minus num into x into x, denominator equals denominator star i star i plus 1, sum equals sum plus term, i is equal to i plus 2, while fabs of term is greater than or equal to 0 0.0001. This entire do while constructs has been clearly explained in the logic of our program. Next, we need to print the sign value which has been calculated by our program. The sign of percentage D is percentage 0.3F that is degree and sum. So, finally, the sign function has calculated value that is sin of x. Since in our question it has been asked to compare the calculated value to that of sin of x built in function value, we are printing both the results. Finally, we terminate our program using getch. The program is ready for compiling and execution. As we know, the steps for compiling is Alt F9. Since there are no warnings or errors, we can see zero warnings, zero errors. Next, the step for execution or running of the program is Control F9. Here, it asks us to enter the value of a degree. Now, let us enter the sign value what we want to compute as say 30. The value of sign 30 is 0.5. Since in the first line the sign of 30 is 0.5, that is the value which has been computed by our program and the second line is what that has been computed from the library function. As we can see that both the answers are one and the same. Now, let us take 
one more run for the sign series. Now let us give the uh, degree as 45. Here also we can observe that the value of sine 45 is 0 0.707 which is true in both the cases. Finally, let us run it for sin 90. As we know the value of sin 90 should be 1. Let us check whether we get the same value. Here we can clearly observe that our calculated value and the library function value both are having the sin 90 value as 1. This completes the execution of sign series using Taylor's approximation method.